Hello, and welcome to another episode with Sundew. And I've got a rocket with a small pod on the, on the very top with curls on it. And they're going to Duna. It's going to be our first mission, manned mission, I guess, um, to Duna. And I don't expect it to return. I'm just seeing if I can get it on the planet. And then probably set up a base where it lands um, at plus try and get some of the uh, probably get some of the information from the rover um, if you can land near it at all um, but yeah so it's good yeah uh, that. we'll see how it goes from here uh, after all these separations because sounds kind of funny there because it's all fast fast forward it's like it's all wound up go fast so it's kind of funny. um but yeah so we'll just watch the rest of the video then uh, I'll probably start up on uh we'll start descending because that's when it gets really so yeah Alright, so we're coming up on uh, interception here, slowing down the... There we go, we got the interception. Now we're just going to kind of fast forward through the process to getting there. Um, I'm kind of like in a race with another pod that I sent up earlier. But I knew it wasn't going to work because the parachutes on it were kind of screwed up, so... I built this new rocket, so this one that it's racing is probably just going to go into orbit. I don't remember if I did just leave it. I think I did. So here we are, <coughs> coming into, uh, well we're already in orbit, we're actually in descent. That was me deploying the uh, parachutes to make sure that they are already activated when when I have enter the atmosphere, because Duna has a very low atmosphere, so I have to make sure that those things are open. So I'm not opening them at the last minute. So here we come. I tried to land as low as uh, as close as possible to the um, rover, as you can see there. <laughs> um, uh, but I was still fairly off. Um, so I just you know 
went with it, and I, you know, now I just have to just drive the rover over to the lander, which isn't too much of a problem. Anyways, but, ah, coming in here, you can see me adding another maneuver node to try and get in a little bit closer to the rover so I don't have to drive too far. Um, but, this, this lander is just going to land, set up for base, and then I'll try and send some parts over to start on the space station. Um, which I'm going to try and get space stations throughout the system. So they're kind of foot uh, stepping stones to getting out into longer space uh, trips, like going to Duna. Um, but they'll stop the station, fill up, and you know take off, and <coughs> maybe hook up at the space station around whatever planet it's going to, and then finally you know, land, and, uh, then do the same process over just to get back home. But, yeah. So I noticed I was coming in a little fast, so I so I tried to slow myself as much as possible with the uh, power D10 stage, um, even though there really isn't any stages. Um, but yeah, and I tested this design a bunch on Kerbin, so you know I, I was pretty certain it was going to work, but I just wanted to make sure I wasn't going too fast, because I don't know if you saw the Duna Rover video, but one time the rip parachute just got ripped off, because it was going way too fast. Um, but this is the part I hate most about landing on Duna, is, is the landing, because the ground comes up so fast, and the parachutes deploy so low. And it isn't even funny. Um, but this design is, you know, like I said, it was only supposed to land, set up base, and everything. Um, but next, you know, pre net new landers will land, be able to take off. Then I'm actually thinking of using a space plane to get to Juna and. Because it seems like Duna can actually, you know, support a space plane to land and get off. Anyways, here we are. Finally get touched down, and I realize I forgot the middle ladder. Because uh, I had a large SAS between the pod and the fuel tank. But every time the parachutes would deploy on testing, the pod always got ripped off from the fuel tank because of the weak connection to the SAS. So it so I took off the SAS, forgetting that there was a ladder on there. Um, I also forgot that there was RCS on there. So I, I forgot RCS, but I put it back on. So I still didn't realize that the ladder was missing. So here's Ali Kerbin making not so majestic, not such a majestic landing. <laughs> um, but yeah, the farthest Kerbals, but not the farthest object. That's for another episode. Um, but yeah. Uh, thanks for watching, and, uh, you know, like, favorite, subscribe, 
all that jazz, comment, and uh, we'll see you next episode. Bye!